Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Asperia. Last time we were here in the Shrine of Bactian, and we got Deinomos, and I went ahead and I unlocked uh, Guardian Field. So there it is down there, Guardian Field. You gotta use it 100 times. It takes 26 TP to use, so it is a serious drain on TP, but just use this healing circle and that's not even a thing. So yeah, don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm gonna save it here because we got a boss fight coming up that can actually be kind of tough. And also, this sword has special on it. So, um, I gave myself special. So yeah, I will now be able to use Mystic Arts and I now have Ultimate Tension. So, all I need now is the Super Chains and Add Combo 2. And I am pretty much set for Ultimate Combos. It's gonna be amazing when I can show off my combo and skills. Even though I'm nowhere near as good as other people like Omega Evolution. Mostly because this isn't the PS3 version and you can't have like 20 arts assigned. Like, oh my god. Um, if you don't know about the PS3 version, uh, here's the thing. You see how we have um, arts on the left stick and then arts on the right stick? In the PS3 version, they added something new. Uh, you know how right trigger... Uh, right trigger, not right bumper. Right trigger in combat does nothing. So they added a thing where if you hold right trigger, uh, well, you can't do it here because obviously it skips through the uh, the menus, but uh, right trigger in combat actually allows you to select from another another eight arts. So you can literally have like 16 different arts ready to go and all you gotta do is just hold R1 and you're able to select and use them. So if you're in a fight you just hold R1 and then these arts change. Now sadly it's only in the PS3 version but oh my god it's so much fun to mess around with that. You can basically have any art setup you want which oh my god I love that so much. I oh, That was one of my favorite things about the PS3 version. Crap I missed something. I'm going back for it. I, I told myself I wasn't going to forget, and then I went and forgot. Awesome. So I missed a chest back here, and I want to go and grab it, because I noticed it when I was grinding for uh, Guardian Field. So I want to go and get that. So, good thing I got the Holy Bottle. And this won't take very long. It's just in this room past this bridge. So, yeah. And, hey, I can go ahead and run through the healing circle, just in case. I know I was healed, but, you know. <sighs> Ugh. Here we go, right here. It is magic five magic lenses. Cool. That was probably enough magic lenses to let me scan everything for free. That's pretty cool. Let's see, there's the bun wiggles, the bun wiggles, the horses, the two knights, and then the the bird. I think that actually Oh no, there was that bird too. Okay, no. Looks like I had to use six, but hey, that's sixty gold I don't have to spend, even though I made a crap load of money here, because uh, this is actually a great place to make money. That's another reason why you should grind here. Uh, let's see, how much did I make? I came in here with 2,000 gold. So yeah, I made 30,000 gold just from fighting alone. Oh, well, wait, I did find that chest with 8,000, but still. That's technically just three fights, and these fights are pretty easy. So this is actually a wonderful place to grind and make money. So feel free to stick around here, especially because if this is your first time through, you're not going to have special, and special takes a long time to get. I can't believe this is Dane Nomos, the proof of imperial succession. Yuri, you can become the emperor. <laughs> this is just for decoration. I wouldn't want to be the emperor even if I could. Duke went around using that sword to control the air, Krenne. Oh, so Duke's doing the same thing as the Anablakea? Maybe so. That sword, it produced the same phenomenon as Estelle did. Maybe the Rizomata formula was already worked out once before, but then why was that information lost? Maybe it's related to the Cataclysm, like the way the Blastia was lost? Why did that become an Imperial treasure? There are tons of things we don't know about this sword, but let's wait to figure them out until we've settled things here. Right now, rescuing a cell is our top priority. Right, let's hurry. Okay, so, ugh, another friggin' secret room there. There's actually like three or four secret rooms in here, and they actually have pretty good stuff, but if I remember right, it really is just items. So it's just gold, or gold. It's just gold or weapons or stuff like that. Um... Mermaid cloak, huh? <laughs> a cloak is beautiful as a make-believe creature. Not only does it look nice, it adds to one defense as well. Cool. Now I can have Alice wear that in the third level. 
Or at least, I, was that the third level? Yeah, yeah, it was. I think so. Um, oh. I, I'm pretty sure that was the third level. Anyway. Uh, do I go here? No. Good. I don't go here. So that's why I want to go here. See? It's a dead end. Oh, it's not a dead end. Crap, that is where I go. Damn it. Oh. I could have sworn that wasn't where I want to go. And that's where I want to go. I want to go where I don't want to go. <laughs> it's very confusing, I know. Okay, here we go. Just... I like how they put the knight deliberately behind it so he can't attack me. That's that's pretty funny that they did that. Uh, mithril gauntlet. I'll go ahead and give that to Carol. Nice. An armor made from mithril. Exceptionally lightweight and sturdy. The perfect armor. Oh, it's perfect. I doubt that. I can think of better armor. Uh... Like the, um... Oh, what was the armor? Oh, crap. Oh, damn it, what was the armor? Damn it, it Gar dropped it in Tales of Symphonia. Oh. I forgot what it's called. Oh, I should be ashamed. I should remember this stuff. But then again, it's been like a year or two since I played Symphonia. Okay. So, Masakari Cleaver. That is for Carol. Finally, I get something new. Masakari Cleaver. It looks awesome. A heavy battle axe. Being able to handle this weapon means you should try wrestling a bear with your bare hands. Wow. I doubt that. I think he would just run. Uh, holy bottle. There we go. I'm done fighting in here. Let's see. Anything over here? No. Damn it. Oh well. So yeah, this room can only be accessed from the bottom level, which kind of sucks, so they actually do. You, there's no way to cheat and get in here early, so yeah. I mean, obviously you wouldn't want to skip Day Nomos or anything. Okay, now this I really don't understand. I guess this is the purpose to the lights, like they kind of just... See, they kind of light up the area, but oh my god, even in the video, I can clearly see where I'm going. Like... I'm sorry, but you guys have really got to work on your darkness puzzles here. Like, even in Tales of Symphonia, I have no problem navigating the dark parts of the Lightning Temple, or the Lightning Seal. Like, what the hell? Why do you have so much trouble making dark puzzles actually dark? Oh my god. But, uh, be careful that you don't fall through. Uh, do not fall down in that room, because you'll actually fall down to Basement 2, and you're gonna have to continue from there. So you're going to have to, you know, you know how that is. You fall through, and then you got to uh, start over. So be careful about that. But hey, we're done. Awesome. Oh, thank God. Yeah, they give you yet another healing circle. So they give you two healing circles in here, which is very generous. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Okay, here we go. Onwards. Oh, I thought we were at the boss. No. Okay. At that, 6,000 gold. Heal bracelet, nice. Those are okay, I guess. Uh, panacea bottle. And lemon gel, okay. Now I'm gonna save, because I don't wanna have to, if I die, I don't wanna have to come back and do that again. Okay, save there. Okay, finally. Now let's get going, jeez. Huh. <sighs> so. Let's see what we got. Except I've already know what we've got. We got a boss. A star. How does it feel to face your last moments in the very temple built to worship you? <laughs> Wretched human. Enough. Alexei, please stop this! <laughs> if you are so eager to free him from his suffering, why not use your healing arts to comfort him? <laughs> <laughs> you are utterly powerless. Alone, you are nothing more than a poisonous blight to this world. I'm sure you understand that now. Estelle, are you alright? Estelle! You again. What stubborn, misguided fools you all are. Yuri! Everyone! Estelle! We've come to rescue you! <laughs> you are incapable of saving this princess. I am her only hope for salvation. Spare 
spare me. The most glorious moment for any tool is when it is finally used. Even the poison of this world can be a blessing if used correctly. And only I can do that. Now, Princess, come with me. Without me, I am afraid your power... Entelakea is supposed to be masters of this world? Stop it! Let us tell go! Oh, how disappointing. He's dead. But how can that be? Smaller than I would have hoped. No matter. It can be used in any number of ways. Alexei! Ah, you've come this far. Now, be baptized in the air your dear princess charged with her own hands! What are you doing with that sword? What happened to Duke? He gave this to us before he took off. And he didn't seem all that worried about you. What irony. That which I have searched for all these years. That it would arrive at my feet only when I no longer have a need for it. With the child of the full moon, the apatheia, and my knowledge, de nomos means nothing to me. Talk to yourself a lot, huh? Not a good sign. Now shut up and let Estelle go! <laughs> Are you certain that is what the princess wants? Estelle! <sighs> Estelle! What's going on? Estelle! I... I don't know. What are you talking about? As long as I'm with you all, I'll only cause you harm. But I want to be with you. I just don't know what I should do. Forget about that, Estelle! Get over here! If there's something you're unsure about, we'll work it out together! Yuri... Ah! I... I can't take this! Now, now, Mr. Yuri Lowell. Such brash behavior does not befit a young lady's escort. Not very gentlemanly of you at all. Sorry for my lack of manners. There aren't many gentlemen where I'm from. That sword is nothing more than an annoyance now. I will rid myself of you here. Yuri! Get out of the way! Who's he? Captain Schwan, isn't it? I thought you always let your knights handle things for you. What's with the change? <laughs> what is it, Repeat? I suppose there's no fooling the nose of a dog. Uh, that voice! Wait! Raven? This doesn't look like a joke. One of the Union's most important members is a captain in the Knights? Huh. So that's what was going on. Wait! But what about the Dawn, Raven? Conversing with you is not one of my duties. Raven! We're in a bit of a hurry, so let us through. Wait. You're not really thinking of trying to stop us, are you? What the hell? Schwan Ulterrain, first captain of the Imperial Knights, ready to do battle. 